Rickety clack along main lines, rickety track. She whispers softly in my ear. Just to say your last name. Just find a place to make a sense to get easy. That's just the way it is. Sit down, see when things can only get better. In so many ways I have no recollection of the last time I came here But if we get much closer I could lose control And if your heart surrenders to your mind Then I'll need me to hold I wouldn't be myself without you Take a piece, take a picture of me I don't care what happens, see Cause I know I'm happy Hello and welcome once again to Can Do Arts for Sustainable Development's Open Mic for Open Minds in association with the Revo Lounge. My name is Brian Reed. it's my great pleasure to be your host um, and uh, this is episode number 71 since we started our lockdown uh, events uh it's been one of them been one of them weeks i'm feeling like i should be feeling a post lockdown euphoria or post isolation euphoria where i've literally been let back out into the world and and able to sort of go and do whatever i want to do um uh and instead of that um i feel i've got like a massive olympic hangover where um, I'm missing all those incredibly toned and sculpted figures busting a gut to win a medal in the most improbable circumstances with no fans, with no people there, with everybody being afraid of COVID and all the rest of it. Um, now, there used to be a saying that they used to use back in um, back in the day when we were like a lot of people were fighting apartheid and that was like sort of, no normal sport in an abnormal society. Okay, and the fact is, is that sport has not been normal during this crazed pandemic time. Um, it's been completely abnormal. It's been really weird. We've come to realise that the advantage of, you know, being at home as a sportsman in a popular sport is a huge deal. Having 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 people screaming for you again and against the opposition um those you know so looking at the results that have happened over um you know but in a way almost um sport without uh fans is almost like the ultimate competition because it's not about the fans it's about you know cities altius fortius you know higher stronger faster um or whichever way round it is <laughs> but um it's it's still taken a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of uh i don't know what would you call it uh a period of readjustment really um and it's really weird because literally i'm just about to go away for a few days camping with some friends and it's been so long since i went anywhere all right for more than a few hours that uh, I'm getting all sorts of pre like sort of break anxiety. Have I packed everything? Have I got everything I need? Am I all going to be on time? Is everything sorted out? And that um, uh, and uh, yeah, to be honest, it's nice to feel that kind of stress and that kind of tension because that's the kind of normal stuff that you should be worrying about um, rather than, you know, whether the world's going to come to an end, which of course it is at some point, but I shall be long gone by then. And so will you. Um, but it's very interesting to see that um, after years and years of everybody who's got a pair of eyes in their face and can look outside and see the weather has known that, uh, you know, we're on a fast track to some serious um, extreme weather situations and most of them are in them all the time. Um, so it's quite comforting that finally the United Nations, that august body of 182 worldwide nations, has come up with a, with a report which unequivocally says that human impact is the issue for climate change. 
Like, did somebody actually need to be told that? Did anybody actually, you know, not think that, you know? <laughs> I mean, but apparently everybody signed up to it. Even governments which are led by climate deniers, of which there are many. Because, you know, a fast buck, you know, the devil's got all the best lines, hasn't he? All right. Uh, fat today and famine tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, we are all, um, we're all hostages to our misuse of the planet. And to be perfectly frank with you, um, you know, the idea of um, assorted billionaires winding their way into space in order to take their economies off world. Well, you know, the only thing that needs to go off world is all the flipping billionaires. Yeah, they can like, you know, sod off into space and leave us in this planet. OK. Um, and for all the good that they'll do or as they like to call themselves i think it's the metal phallus club <laughs> right <laughs> make of that what you will anyway so here we are again um i should say as well um that uh, you know there are certain things um, in the pipeline which are going to be happening um, very shortly um so the uh, unlock reset festival which was um, um planned for the uh the 19th of uh, july um or the June, I think it was, and then we had to put it off to uh, July, and then everybody sort of got like let free, but like sort of with this like weird feeling of actually, are we really free? Uh, so that's going to be taking place at various venues in Chippenham across uh, the uh, Bank Holiday weekend at the end of August, and I shall be a part of that along with a lot of people from Can Do. Um, and in the middle of that um, thing on the 29th, at the open, the old road open mic shall be returning. Um, for a special uh, bank holiday edition um, and uh, so look out for some details on that um, and so I'm getting quite excited actually because we're likely after lots of like little dress rehearsals and little opportunities to do bits and pieces here and there finally going to go you know have an audience and have a stage and do some stuff uh, and hopefully have a really good time um, so that's really sort of um, motivating me at the moment I'm really happy about that um, and, and so I'm also mindful that, um, you know, as we transition back towards uh, live events and what have you, um, the open mic in its current form may become uh, a step too far or like an anachronism that we need to like sort of change around or play with or whatever. But we'll just see. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that can do are endlessly creative when it comes to creating and following through with events. And I'm really happy to be a part of that team that helps to bring this. So, without further ado, let's take it away, you amazing open micers. Thank you very much. When I finally die Will the funeral overflow Am I really loved The way they say By all my friends I've ever known When I finally live Will the words I speak Hold the same way Like my books from the grave When I was comatose The words I speak Feel so morose I've been speaking in metaphors from an ill-tempered tongue His flow attached to my heart, blinded from the sun Just too tired to step in line with this heat And I've been sleeping on nail beds where the tombstones lie With an age-old veil draped over my eyes A broken down melancholy version of me I close my eyes, saw a gun to my head I feel so much that I wish I was dead When I finally die Will the funeral overflow? Am I really loved the way they say By all my friends I've ever known When I finally live all the words 
words I speak hold the same way While my books from the grave when I was comatose The words I speak feel so morose I close my eyes so I got into my head I feel so much that I wish I was dead Depressive tendencies paired with anxiety I can't trust myself cause my feelings lie to me Think that I should go back to bed When I finally die Will the funeral overflow? Am I really loved the way they say? By all my friends I've ever known When I finally live Will the words I speak hold the same way Like my books in the grave when I was comatose The words I speak feel so morose Morose Depressive tendencies paired with anxiety I can't trust myself cause my feelings lie to me Depressive tendency paired with anxiety I can't trust myself cause my feelings lie to me I think that I should go back to bed I think that I should go back to bed
to cry. I just got scared, that's all. Tell her I'll be by her side. All she has to do is call. All she has to do is call. Tell her the chips are down I drank too much and shouted it aloud Tell her something in my heart Needs her more than even clouds Need the laughter of the crowd I sometimes think too much but say nothing at all and Tell her from this high terrain I am ready now to fall I am ready now to fall Go. I ain't holding on no more. I tell her nothing if not this. All I wanna do is kiss her. Something in my mind freezes up from time to time. Take my hand, stay your way. Heaven's not ready for you. Every part, oh, of my aching heart needs you more than the angels do. Girl, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, going, girl? Girl, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, going, girl? If you could, I know that you would stay. We both know things don't work that way. I promise I know I wouldn't say goodbye. So I grin and my voice gets thin. Girl, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, going, girl? Girl, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, going, girl? Honestly, I know where you're going. Baby, you're just moving on. And I still love you, even if I can't see you anymore. Can't wait to see you soar.
girl Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Going, girl Girl, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Going, girl A poem by Les Barker called Waking Boris May I wake you, Prime Minister, from all those great dreams, all your memories of moonshots and world-beating schemes. We could pay for those projects that never came good, so why can't we pay nurses the wage that we should? I don't need a train, I have to confess, that gets me to London in a few minutes less, yet we'll spend countless billions to build HS2. So why can't we pay nurses the wage that they're due? We can finance a railway that nobody needs To go where a railway line already leads To cities that railway lines already serve So why can't we pay nurses the wage they deserve? We can give old friends contracts and not say a word And don't try to tell me that that's not occurred you can waste God knows how much and not be concerned. So why can't we pay nurses the wage that they've earned? And so it goes on, now you're spinning a yarn of a bridge or a tunnel from Stranraer to Larn. So I'll ask you again, they're worth far more than you. Why can't we pay nurses the wage that they're due? so sad I know it's over but life goes on and this old world will keep on turning let's just be glad we had some time to spend together There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning Lay your head upon my pillow Hold your warm and tender body close to mine Hear the whisper of the raindrops Blowing soft against the window And make believe you love me one more time for oh, the good times I'll get along you'll find another and I'll be here if you should find you ever need me Don't say a word about tomorrow or forever There'll be time enough for sadness when you leave me Lay your head upon my pillow Hold your warm and tender 
tender body close to mine hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window and make believe you love me one more time for the good times for the good times I'm fractious with a thorn in my heart And I've only got myself to blame Maybe I was scratched by the black thorn Or maybe it's money again A whisper Told me to let go and be kind And clear some space in my It's an old-fashioned word in Ireland they call it strife And the wounds from the thorns can turn septic and Put a fork in your tongue The mother of the wood Protects the songbirds and holds dark secrets so I can clear space in my mind. Give me something
something to believe Give me space in my mind So here we are, uh, and uh, if you're watching this, it means that the open mic is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, and it only leaves for me to say that if you would like to, if you would like to uh, add um, your um, goodwill or your talent, whatever, to our uh, open mic archive, all right, then you can do so by by sending um, your film or your contribution to open mic at can do dash arts dot com and that's probably just under my chin right now so you can read it um and uh, so it only leaves me to say uh take it away mr ed didigan thank you very much everybody and good evening <laughs> Slow down, you move too fast You gotta make the morning last Just kicking down the cobblestones Look at the fun and feeling groovy But a lot of Hello lamppost, what you knowin'? I've come to watch your flowers growin' Ain't you got no rhymes to me? Do 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 do, feeling groovy. I got no deeds to do, no promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. Let the morning time set off. God's petals on me. Life, I love you. Always groovy. Da 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 Groovy. Well, I am feeling groovy. I hope you're all feeling groovy. We're feeling you groovy. Feeling groovy. Groovy. This is our new exhibition, part of the new exhibition of Terry Buchanan's brilliant stuff, multimedia stuff. Come into the shop, the social hub of positivity. I want to say thank you to everyone involved. Can do Brian Reed, all the good people, all our great, great crew, all the people at Emery Gate, all the families that we work with, all the people that are supporting us through these incredibly strange and challenging times thank you for everyone who's on the good side of right and for all you people that are about to get a different perspective on life we say bless you